10 Bad Daily Habits That Ruin Your Brain More than we might realize, our daily habits have an impact on our brain, which is the control center of our body. While it's well known that a healthy lifestyle may enhance brain function, certain everyday habits may significantly impair it. But what are these factors that negatively impact our brain health? Just as nutritious food may fuel the brain and facilitate its functions, negative habits like a poor diet, insufficient sleep, and a lack of physical activity may impair it. In today's video, we will delve deeper into 10 daily habits that may put our cognitive health at risk without us even realizing it. Also, stick to the end of the video, where we will talk about five foods that may protect your brain from daily damage. Now, let's start. 1. Lack of sleep. During sleep, particularly in the deep stages, the brain's lymphatic system becomes more active. This system, akin to the body's lymphatic system, flushes out toxins, including beta amyloid and tau proteins, which are associated with Alzheimer's disease. Without adequate sleep, these toxins accumulate, impairing neuronal function and contributing to neurodegenerative diseases. Simultaneously, sleep deprivation affects the brain's ability to form and consolidate memories. Sleep cycles, especially the rapid eye movement phase, are crucial for converting experiences and information from short-term to long-term memory. Insufficient sleep disrupts these cycles, leading to memory lapses and a decreased ability to learn and retain new information. Sleep has been proven to improve metabolism, regulate metabolism, and reduce mental fatigue. A minimum of seven hours of daily sleep seems to be necessary for proper cognitive and behavioral function. Two. Excessive sugar consumption. Excessive sugar disrupts the delicate balance of neurotransmitters, chemicals that relay messages between neurons. Sugar spikes may cause rapid releases of dopamine, the feel-good. Neurotransmitter, leading to mood swings and contributing to conditions like depression and anxiety when the sugar high crashes. Over time, the brain becomes less sensitive to sugar, reducing the effectiveness of dopamine and other neurotransmitters which dampens mood and cognitive functions. In a study involving about 1,200 older adults in Malaysia, 32% showed cognitive impairment with a median sugar intake of about eight teaspoons daily. Higher sugar consumption was linked to lower cognitive scores, even after adjusting for other factors. Three, smoking. Cigarette smoke contains thousands of chemicals, including nicotine, carbon monoxide, formaldehyde, and heavy metals, which may damage brain cells directly. These chemicals also contribute to the development of oxidative stress within brain tissues. Oxidative stress occurs when there is an imbalance between free radicals unstable molecules that may damage cells and antioxidants molecules that neutralize free radicals. This imbalance leads to damage to brain cells and DNA, contributing to aging and neurodegenerative diseases, in a study with about 700 participants, researchers found that cigarette smoking is associated with reduced gray matter volume in the brain, a condition linked to dementia. Four, excessive alcohol consumption. One of the primary neurotransmitters affected by alcohol is gamma aminobutyric acid, which is responsible for producing feelings of calmness and relaxation. However, Excessive drinking may lead to an overactivation of these receptors, diminishing their responsiveness over time and disrupting the natural balance of excitatory and inhibitory signals in the brain. Simultaneously, alcohol consumption affects the levels of glutamate, an excitatory neurotransmitter associated with learning and memory. By inhibiting glutamate activity, alcohol may impair cognitive functions, leading to difficulties in forming new memories and processing new information a phenomenon commonly known as blackouts during periods of heavy drinking. According to a study, almost half of alcoholics who seem cognitively normal actually have structural brain damage, with specific deficits in nonverbal reasoning and psychomotor speed not evident on standard IQ tests. 5. Not exercising. Regular physical activity helps maintain a healthy vascular system, ensuring an ample supply of blood to the brain. This blood flow is crucial as it delivers oxygen and nutrients while removing waste products. 
Without sufficient exercise, blood flow decreases, leading to a reduction in the oxygen and nutrients reaching the brain, which are vital for its optimal functioning. Additionally, exercise stimulates the release of growth factors and chemicals in the brain that affect the health of brain cells, the growth of new blood vessels in the brain, and even the abundance and survival of new brain cells. One of the key growth factors influenced by exercise is brain-derived neurotrophic factor. It supports the survival of existing neurons and encourages the growth and differentiation of new neurons and synapses, especially in areas of the brain crucial for memory and learning, such as the hippocampus. According to the World Health Organization, participating in at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic activity or 75 minutes of vigorous activity each week may have a positive impact on brain health. 6. Chronic stress. When stress is constant, cortisol levels remain unnaturally high, leading to a plethora of negative effects on the brain. One of the first areas affected by elevated cortisol levels is the hippocampus, a region of the brain essential for learning and memory. High cortisol levels may inhibit the growth of new neurons in the hippocampus and cause the atrophy of dendrites, the branch-like parts of neurons that are involved in transmitting messages. This neuronal damage leads to memory lapses and impairs the formation of new memories. Chronic stress also influences the brain's plasticity its ability to form new connections and adapt to new situations. High levels of stress hormones may decrease synaptic plasticity, making it harder for the brain to adapt to new experiences and learn from them. This reduction in plasticity not only impacts cognitive functions, but also diminishes the brain's ability to recover from stress, creating a vicious cycle that may be hard to break. Stress also triggers the amygdala, which deals with emotions and reacts differently to short- and long-term stress. Short-term stress increases connections, enhancing emotional responses, while long-term stress may lead to anxiety and PTSD-like behaviors by causing structural changes. 7. Social isolation. Loneliness impacts an estimated 25 to 50 percent of the U.S. population at a given time, and one out of three adults over the age of 45 may be particularly at risk of feeling lonely. Social isolation affects the brain's structure and functioning by altering neurotransmitter systems, including those for serotonin and dopamine, which are crucial for mood regulation and reward mechanisms. The reduction in social interactions diminishes the natural release and regulation of these neurotransmitters, leading to increased risks of depression and anxiety. In a large study with 14,114 participants, researchers found that loneliness was linked to a 31% higher risk of developing cognitive impairment over 11 years. 8. Dehydration. The initial impact of dehydration on the brain is the reduction of overall brain volume, leading to temporary shrinkage of brain tissue. This physical contraction of the brain may strain the cerebral vasculature and disrupt the delicate balance between brain cells and their environment, leading to decreased efficiency in cognitive function. Furthermore, dehydration leads to thicker blood and reduced blood volume, making circulation less efficient. This reduced blood flow means that less oxygen and fewer nutrients reach the brain, which may impair cognitive functions and slow down the brain's healing and maintenance processes. In a study with 12 men, following a 36-hour period without water, after rehydrating with one and a half liters of water, significant improvements were seen in mood, memory, attention, and reaction times, underscoring the critical impact of hydration on cognitive health and mood. 9. Overeating. Overeating, especially with a diet high in fats and sugars, leads to an increase in body fat. Excess body fat, particularly visceral fat around the abdomen, releases inflammatory cytokines and other stress-related hormones. These substances may cross the blood-brain barrier and trigger inflammation in the brain, known as neuroinflammation, increasing the risk of neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's. The process of overeating also impacts the brain's reward system. Foods high in sugar and fat may trigger the release of dopamine, a neurotransmitter associated with pleasure and reward. Over time, constant overeating and the associated dopamine surges may lead to changes in the brain's reward pathways, similar to those observed in addictive behaviors. 
A four-year-long study of about 6,200 older females in the United States reported that high amounts of saturated fatty acids were associated with worse cognitive and verbal memory trajectories. In contrast, higher MUFA intake was related to better trajectories. 10. Excessive screen time. The blue light emitted by screens inhibits the production of melatonin, the hormone responsible for regulating sleep-wake cycles. This may lead to difficulty falling asleep, poor sleep quality, and reduced sleep duration, all of which impair cognitive functions such as attention, memory, and decision-making. Additionally, prolonged screen time may lead to a reduction in the diversity and richness of experiences. Real-world activities, such as engaging with nature, practicing hobbies, and interacting face-to-face, -face, provide sensory and cognitive stimulation that supports brain health. Screen time substitutes for these activities result in the brain receiving less varied stimulation, which may stifle creativity, lower emotional well-being, and hinder cognitive development. Add these five foods into your diet to protect your brain. Incorporating certain foods into your diet may play a crucial role in protecting your brain health due to their nutrient profiles. 1. Leafy green vegetables. Vegetables like spinach, kale and broccoli are rich in brain-healthy nutrients, including vitamin K, lutein, folate and beta-carotene. 2. Fatty fish. Fatty fish such as salmon, trout, and sardines are abundant sources of omega-3 fatty acids, which are known to build brain and nerve cells. 3. Berries. Flavonoid-rich berries like blueberries, strawberries, and blackberries have been shown to improve memory. These fruits contain antioxidants that may delay brain aging and enhance brain health. 4. Nuts and seeds. Nuts like almonds, walnuts, and seeds such as flaxseed and chia seeds provide omega-3 fatty acids and antioxidants alongside their brain-protective vitamin E content. 5. Whole grains. Whole grains such as oats, barley, and quinoa are rich in nutrients including fiber, vitamin E, and omega-3 fatty acids that contribute to brain health. While some habits might seem harmless or part of a modern lifestyle, their long-term effects on the brain may be detrimental. By being mindful of these habits and making small changes, we may improve our brain health and overall well-being. Always consult your healthcare professional in case you notice any significant change in your cognitive function. Now that we have discussed the many habits that damage our brains, let's dive into other topics of interest. Interested in knowing more about health secrets? Watch 19 warning signs you need to start drinking more water. You may also try our video on 11 bad daily habits that are ruining your liver. Go ahead, click one. Or better yet, watch both and learn more about your body. How many of the earlier mentioned habits do you follow in your everyday life? Let us know in the comments below.